Hey there, my name is Gardner, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate with Linode. Today I wanted to get set up with a Mastodon client that's self-hosted on Linode's VPS system. If you're not familiar, Mastodon is actually a hosted client for the ActivityPub distributed social media protocol. Uh, that might be a lot of jargon for some of you, uh, but basically it's an open source and decentralized Twitter. Admittedly, it's more than that as well. Uh, there's many different kinds of activity pub based social networks, but they can all communicate with each other uh, in a way that I just find really interesting. But today we're going to install Mastodon, which is how you actually uh, use activity pub as sort of a micro blogging site like Twitter for example. Now we're going to install Mastodon by actually using CloudRon. And if you haven't seen it already, there's a video up here for how to uh, set up uh, CloudRon running on a Linode. Uh, and once you have that set up and have it all configured following that video, you can then uh, rejoin us here where we're going to actually install Mastodon through CloudRon. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to do uh, we're in CloudRon is actually go over here to the App Store. And you're going to have to set up an email and user account if you haven't already. Okay, and we're all set up now. Uh, so there's a lot of awesome applications, as we covered in the uh, in the CloudRon video, uh, that you can install here. Uh, we're going to go down here and go to Mastodon, uh, if we can find it in the list. Where the heck is it? Right there, Mastodon. Uh, we're going to click on Mastodon. We're going to click Install. It asks us where we want to actually uh, have it running. So let's say uh, pub for activity pub dot Linodians dot net. And we can allow CloudRon to actually manage uh, the user account, the primary user account on Mastodon. So we'll just go ahead and click install. And after a few moments, uh, Mastodon's actually going to be installed. So we'll go through the configuration process real fast. All right, so the app's been installed and now it's being started up. All right, and Mastodon is now running. Uh, we've got it set up through CloudRon. Let's go ahead and click uh, here and we're gonna open it up. This app is set to authenticate with the CloudRon user directory. CloudRon uh, users can log in and use it immediately. Accounts are created with the username and the subdomain under which this app is installed. Now we're gonna go ahead and navigate our browser to uh, the domain or the subdomain that we actually set it up on. And we're going to sign in here with our user account. Now you'll want to log in with your username, not your at uh, with the domain name, just your username. Welcome to the Fediverse. In a few moments, you'll be able to broadcast messages and talk with your friends across a wide variety of servers. But this server, pub.linodians.net, is special. It hosts your profile, so remember its name. Posts from people you follow will appear in your home feed, and you can follow anyone on any server. Public posts from people on the same server as you will appear in the local timeline and federated. Public posts from other servers in the Fediverse will appear in the federated timeline. All right. You can reply, you can boost, and you can favorite. Let's go ahead and finish here. All right. So here we have a, a bare bones um, Mastodon set up. And, you know, I could post something on here like, hey guys, I'm new to this Fediverse. <laughs> Whoops, whatever. <laughs> I'm new to this. That works. And you can see you can like a, like a post and, and retweet it. Uh, and, you know, you can start connecting with your friends on other Mastodon instances uh, and start following them. So let's go ahead and follow uh, one of my other accounts, gbryant at Librem one. And there we go. There's my primary Mastodon account running on another instance of Mastodon. So we can like, click on this and we can see uh, older, older toots on this service are not being displayed. Uh, so we'll just go ahead and hit follow. And that's all and that's all really cool, but you'll see that if if we go to the admin dashboard in Mastodon when we're signed in as the as the basic user, you're gonna see that we actually have an error. We our user account doesn't have the permission to actually access that. So we need to go back to Cloud Run. And we need to go to uh, uh, here on the terminal. This is the uh, Cloud Run uh, web terminal. 
And we need to do uh, bin slash toot ctl accounts modify uh, g bryant, whoops, bryant role admin. And hit enter. And after a few moments, that should make uh, our user account uh, an admin. Oh, Ruby, gross. <laughs> And there we go. Looks like our user account's been upgraded to an admin. So let's go back to our Mastodon instance and refresh the page. And, and there we go. It was as simple as that to make our user account uh, the an admin for our Mastodon instance. So now you have all these options. Uh, you can set the server thumbnail. You can set the hero image. And there's a number of settings in here that you can utilize or enable. Uh, there's there's you know, options to let people create accounts on your server for, uh, you know, if that's more your speed, all kinds of stuff like that. But at this point, uh, I think, you know, I'll leave it up to you to, to set up the server that you want to run. Um, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure that you subscribe here on Linode uh, to make sure that you check out all the awesome content that's available. You can also hit that uh, notification bell to stay up to date with all the latest and cool stuff we're doing over here. But uh, yeah, that's going to do it for now. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.